Yes. We are. We are, man. I've had so much. She's my new, new best friend for sure. I mean, she's uh, she's so great. Um, she drinks like Blake Shelton, and she plays the banjo like Earl Scruggs. I mean, what's not to like about her? She's awesome. Um, and she's just so fun, and she's just uh, she's so real all the time. And we just it's a real it's a real true friendship. It's a real it's a real uh, organic true uh, friendship. But I just you know I went I just loved her voice, and I've learned just to sh- go for things. You know, it's like. I want. I love to get her on my record. The song's called "Different for Girls." It's you know, it's a pretty interesting subject title and uh, matter. And it'd be cool to get someone that is kind of different from girls to sing on a song called "Different for Girls." You know, I mean, but she represents every you know every girl in a way out there in some way. I think people can see themselves. You know, she just just lays it all out there. You know, uh, and so it's been fun to have her on this track. And uh, you never know. I mean, I, I liked her voice, but I didn't know if her voices would blend, and and I don't know how we get along personally, and I. You, know, you see duets in the business, but you never know. <laughs> come on, come out here. And uh, and here she is, L. King. Yeah, here she is. <laughs> they're so hostile. Be careful, right? This is like, you know, they're, they're absolutely hostile with us. I've been telling her how, I think, you know, she can talk about this, but your experience here the last, you know, two days, what's, what's it been like being on lost country hillbilly folk? Um, she is from. Yeah. Well, I actually am. A yeah, hillbilly, she so really is. That's I feel comfortable, but it's um, things like this, like being in a room and then having no idea what I am gonna walk into. That's how I felt through this whole experience. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh. That's it's, what the Yeti's made for. The Yeti's. It's not lying. It's uh, th- yes. this is not uh, sweet tea. <laughs> Have you guys been having fun? What are you guys talking about? Do you want to ask me questions? Yes. Yes, you right there in front. Uh, no, I've never been allowed in. Um, <laughs> and I was talking to somebody outside, and, and I was saying how I, I just don't ever want to go back to pop or rock. Um, and I think that country is way more rock and roll than the rock and roll world, anyways, um, I can barely keep up with everyone, and like that is really saying something. <laughs> so I have had so much fun, and, and I've, I've had such a warm uh, welcome. I think maybe because everyone is uh, drunker than me, and mm. that's great, so <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see it, I heard, I, I don't, I, it was, was it good? I heard it was pretty cool. Thank you. Yes. Well, I, I. I get terrified, absolutely terrified to sing other people's songs. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's a confidence thing. Um, I like to write my own songs, and I just, I don't like doing anything I'm not good at. And um, and so I was really, I was, you know, I was super nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you know, just so dreamy and <laughs> nice and make great music. <coughs> and um, but the, it's always good to take yourself out of your comfort zone because that's the only way that you'll grow and, and change, um, especially as a musician. Um, and so I think it's really important. And uh, like, I'm terrified right now, I, I don't know. But I think I play it off pretty cool. I also am drinking, so <laughs> that's good. Um, but yeah, I, I get really scared, um, but I really enjoyed the song uh, that I did with, you know, Different for Girls is a good song. It so. was awesome. We, uh, we tracked her down in Texas. She was playing Stubbs that night. and we. I went down to Ross, who, I don't know if Ross Copham, but he's a great songwriter and producer, and he's, I've always thought great of Ross, but it was so cool to see Ross work with some, work with her, and for her, you know, for us to come down there and come into a studio, I came down with my producer, and, you know, it's pretty intimidating, a song that it's not hers, and, um, and it, was, it was, she was so great, she's so self-deprecating, she's like, this is going to be terrible, it's, like, oh, it's going to be awful, I'm not good you at harmonies. You have to shoot low, so and that you, you shot, can. You shot really low, and then she goes in there, and it sounded so <laughs> cool right away, but she was great, and also, Ross, it was so cool to see him work with someone, you know, look like her and just like the way they work together and just 
I don't know. It was just such a cool experience. Um, and and we did it awesome. in, I think, like less than two hours, too. Yeah, we were in and out. It was like, it was great. Okay, good to meet you. See you, see you at the yeah. CMA Music Fest. It was nice. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, no. I mean, it's a crazy song. Shane sent me a text saying McAnally. He's like, I just, before I send this out to the universe, I want to give it to you first. I really feel like this is a song you could, you know, it was for you. And I heard the song. I thought it was crazy. It was a great song. And and then, uh, you know, Mary and I we were talking about, you know, we'd love to, get, love to get Elle on this if we could. And I just shot that out there and it happened. And then when she came on, it took it to a whole new place. I didn't really actually ever hear it as a single. I thought it'd maybe it'd be a part of the album, you know. And then when she got on it, it was like it just something changed about the song. And, and I really, you know, even putting out as a, as a single now was a big, sh was a, I felt like, you know, going in the summertime, you know, should, my usual tr path would be like a up tempo something, you know. And it's like, man, it's just such a good song. It says something great. I love her. It, I've never done something like this before. Just a lot of like things came together at the right time. And the reaction like on social media before it even became a single was, was crazy. You know, I was nervous. You can ask Mary, like sleepless nights. Like we're putting this song out like, uh, and by the, you know, we're all, we kept saying like, it's a good thing to be nervous. It's a good thing to be nervous. But I was like freaking out. Like what's the response going to be in the song? You know? I think that I was actually just talking about it with my mother, who's his biggest fan ever in the world. And I um, she, I don't like reading stuff online or anything. It freaks me out. So she does it all for me and uh, mainly tells me just the good things. But I think that when you and I sing the song, we think it's just a good song and we enjoy playing yeah. and singing with each other. But there actually is a, a bigger message to it. And I think that... Um, we're not like shoving it down anybody's throats. It's just a good song and people are reacting to it like just naturally and I think that that's a really beautiful thing. Yeah. It's just something really special about it, not just because we're so cool. No, um, I mean that's just a little time It's, part it's a really good message, especially coming from someone who is, you know, as wonderful as him and someone as cool as me. Um, <laughs> that it's, it's, I don't know, I, I, it must feel good yeah. to have the reaction that it, you know, it okay. feels it feels really good, and I do like we're just you know we're just singing it, and people can interpret however they want to and make it their own, which is what you want to do, right? Yeah. You don't wanna, there's no That's agenda. What music is. Yeah, we'll we'll do the singing and drinking, and they'll do the listening and the deciding, crying apparently, you know, yeah. and the crying, which is what we want. Thanks, Tammy. <laughs>